All right, let's be real. Tonight we went to F and M. We went three one, and we played the blue black control deck that Raptor is currently playing at Worlds. Apparently, a bunch of those dudes are on it. Not thrilled about the Worlds decks because there's about ten copies of Remunap Red and like eight copies of Teamer Energy, eight or nine, and then like a bunch of other super predictable stuff. One of the coolest things about events, uh, in my opinion, is when is the potential to see all these new cards, these cool new cards getting uh, getting played, and the fact that Ramunap Red and Teamer Energy are the are represented by like 19 out of 24 players is just ridiculous to me, considering uh, four sets left standard and one set entered standard, and it's basically the same decks as the, the previous standard format. But that's not even what we're going to talk about right now. That has nothing to do with anything. Uh, the point is, by going... 3-1 at FNM tonight. We managed to get a promo card. And, um... Look, I want to be honest. I haven't seen the new foil tokens um, that are being given out at FNMs now in place of promos. But, um... Here they are. I'm sure you guys have seen these. And if you flip it on the back, you get a treasure. I'm sure you guys have seen these because you guys are internet connoisseurs. You're internet savvy magicians. Let's say. Magi you're magic magically inclined to the internet. But I'm going to be honest with you. I care less about this. I wanted to be super hyped about it. I was like, yes, promo tokens are cool. People can get these and play with them, and it's cool. But then I got this one. And it's cool that it's double-sided, but I actually sleeve all of my tokens. You can see them right over here. I actually have some right here. I sleeve my tokens so that when I put them in my deck box, uh, I can tell them apart. So, like, here's the deck, and it can then the tokens, and the sideboard goes behind that. So, like, when I have my deck in my deck box, I can cut exactly to, like, I can take the deck out. And it's a cool little divider, and like then I don't risk shuffling these into my deck at the end of a match when I have like three pirates out and a bunch of like Vraskas out, like ten Vraskas in play at the same time. Then I'm not gonna get them confused. I'm just gonna be able to shuffle it all together and be like, oh, I accidentally shuffled my pink sleeves in my deck, and it's never gonna be a problem. So the problem with that is if you do that with this double sided token, you're not gonna see the back. So what's the point of that? There's no double, the, okay, cool. Well, I guess it's a one-sided token Then if I ever sleeve my token. And it's a foil promo, so why wouldn't you sleeve it? It's not like a, trans, a foil transform card that you're going to want to, that you're going to flip every so often, maybe. Like a Delver of Secrets, you'll flip it once and then it stays that way. Like, this is a token where it's like, I don't know, man. Like, okay, so my biggest problem is that, why is the art the same? You got Pirate, like, perfect example. Here's a Pirate. Here's a pirate. It's the same art. It's the same exact art. Why couldn't you have different pirate art so that this is a little bit special? Why couldn't you have different treasure art so this is a little bit special? I hate that I just opened, like, in the past two days, I've opened, like, ten packs. Because I like opening packs, and because it's really hard to get, like, eight people together to do a draft, and, like, I don't feel like dealing with all that. I also need stuff for Constructed, so I just open packs. I don't like opening packs. I don't have to defend myself to you. And so, it's frustrating that the promo that I got for doing well at FNM this week was the same thing that I like threw out 20 of treasure tokens and pirate tokens. And I'm like, I have enough of these. I don't really need any more treasures and pirates and whatever. So that's frustrating to me. Um, obviously this is, I mean, you know, it's a magic vlog. Obviously it's going to be a first world problem. If there's an issue in a magic, pr in a magic vlog, it's a first world problem, right? Because it's because we're talking about magic. The Gathering. The, a trading card game by Richard Garfield full of fantastic creatures and powerful spells. But it's, it's not nothing, right? Like, you can still complain about this and be like, I liked promos better. I have two foil f Fatal Push promos over there on the shelf that were super cool to get. The art's different. I feel like it's distinct. Uh, it's a different card than the regular Fatal Push. It's probably worth a different amount. Uh, it's it's fun to try and collect four of those because that's a playset. How many of these do I collect? Four? Eight? None? Do I care? Do I sleeve one of these with my other pirates? So I'm like, oh, this is my foil pirate. I don't know. 
whatever, guys. Anyway, this is my this is my feelings on this. I figured I would uh, mention it because I did have the pirate itself in hand, and um, you know, this is where we're at. So, no more F and M foils, uh, foil promos, I guess. Now we're just getting tokens, and it is what it is. So uh, let me know what you guys think. I'd really be curious to see what you guys think about these new promos now that we've actually had them in our hands and we've seen them and we've gotten them in place of promo cards like a braid or fatal push or really, really playable chase uncommons. And uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to smash those like and subscribe buttons down there because that helps me out. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.